Hello, welcome to today's review of the lesson. We're going to be talking about x and y intercepts, graphing when you know a point and the slope, and then being able to write equations in point slope form. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is find the x and y intercept. So remember, whenever we are finding the y intercept, x is zero. Okay, so we're going to plug a zero in for x. All right, so now negative two times zero cancels out. So now, what are we going to do to move the 3 away from the y? Am I going to add 3, subtract 3, or divide by 3? So we're going to divide both sides by 3. So the y-intercept is 18 divided by 3 is 6. So is that order to pair for the y-intercept, is it 0? 6 or is it 6 0 so remember this is the y intercept so we want the y value to be 6 so it is 0 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 put a dot okay how many points do we need in order to graph a line we need two points so we've got one the y intercept so now we're going to find the x intercept so remember, when you're finding the x-intercept, what is the y value? Every single point on the x-axis, what is the y value? It is 0. So this time, we're going to substitute in place of y, we're going to put a 0. So 3 times 0 is 0. So now how am I going to move that 2 away from the x? Am I going to add 2, subtract 2, or divide by negative 2? I am going to divide by negative 2. So that my x-intercept is negative 9. So is that the ordered pair 0, negative 9, or negative 9, zero. Remember, if we're looking for the x-intercept, we want the x value to be nine. So it is negative nine, zero. So on your x-axis, go to negative nine. Now we have our two points, so we can connect them and put arrows on the end. All right, let's do one more of these, x-intercept and y-intercept. When we are looking for the y-intercept, what is the x value? x is 0. So 4 times 0 plus 3y equals 24. So this cancels out. Now how do I move that 3? Do I add 3, subtract 3, or divide by 3? This says 3 times y, so the opposite of times is divide. So the y-intercept is 8. So go to your y-axis and count up 8 and put a dot. Okay, now we need to find your x-intercept. So if we're looking for the x-intercept, y is 0. So 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 24. So these are going to cancel out. And we are going to divide both sides by 4. So the x-intercept is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Put a dot. All right, is this a positive slant or a negative slant? If we were going to look at the slope, is the slope of this line positive or negative? All 
And if you look, start at your point and you go down and right or up and left, this is a negative slant. All right, the next kind of problems that I want to do are graphing. Oops. Um, the next kind of problem that I want to do is graph when you are given a point. So let's just give the point negative 2, 4. And your slope is 1 third. Okay, now normally I will give you an xy coordinate plane, but I'm just going to make it for this sample problem right here. So the first thing that we always want to do is graph the point. So the point we are given is negative 2, 4. So what is negative 2? Is that your x value or your y value? That's x. So we're going to go left 2 and the y value is up 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the point that they give us. Negative 2, comma, 4. So now we need to have at least one more point. So we are going to use the slope in the ratio of rise over run. So, whoops, that's run. If I go up 1, am I going to go right 3 or left 3? And I'm going to go right. So if I go up 1, I'm going to go right 1, 2, 3. Up 1, right 1, 2, 3. All right, if I was going to go down 1, so if I'm going to go down 1, am I going to go right 3 or left 3? And it's going to be left. So it's down 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay, are these dots now all in the same line? Okay, blue, black, black, black. Because we counted up 1, right 3. All right, and then the last thing we're going to cover in this video is going to be writing an equation in point-slope form. So the first thing you have to remember is that formula or the general form for point slope is y minus a number equals a number and it's x minus a number. Okay, and then in this blank, what always goes in that blank? Slope goes in that blank. Now, do they tell us the slope here? and they sure do, they tell us that the slope is 4 fifths, so we can go ahead and put that number in here, 4 fifths. Okay, now I like to always write by my numbers, x and y. Now, this letter right here is a y, so am I going to put the 8 in this first blank, or am I going to put a negative 51? I'm going to put a negative 51. Now, in this last blank, we have the letter x. So what number am I going to put in this last blank? Am I going to put an 8 or a negative 51? I'm going to put the 8 in here. Now, there's one more thing. Mathematicians do not like double negatives. So because this says minus a negative, we are going to write y plus 51 equals 4 fifths x minus 8. Now notice, look at this, you see a positive 8 for x, and what do we actually look in our equation? It is a negative 8. They are, always are the opposites. That's why when the formula it's x minus, so it's x the opposite. And if you look at here, this says a negative 51, but if you look in the actual equation, it says a plus 51. So that when we pull off this, these two numbers right here, make an ordered pair. Okay, you have to always make sure that you write it x comma y. And because we see x, x right here says negative 8. What ordered pair that really is, is a positive 8. And then you look at y and that says a plus 51. 
So we have to write a negative 51. Okay, and the slope is still the four fifths. All right, so let's write this equation. Y minus a blank, blank, X minus a blank. Okay, what always goes in this blank, always before X is your slope. So we can fill in a negative four. Now remember, pay attention, this is X, this is Y. Y is six, so look for your Y value and put in a six. And then X is a 17. Okay, now be careful. Now if I ask you to go backwards and I say, hey, what ordered pair is in here? So what ordered pair? Can you go backwards and pull out the ordered pair X, Y? So make sure you get it in the right order. Here is X. And because that says a negative 17, the ordered pair is gonna be a positive 17. And then looking at this Y value here, that says negative six, we're going to put in a positive six. So it's always the opposite. Okay, let's see if you can do that now in these last two equations. Okay, what is the slope and the point given? Well, the slope should be one of the easier ones that you find. So is the slope, is it negative four? Is it seven? Is it 13? Or is it a positive four or a negative 13? What is the slope? And the slope is always found in front of what? It's always in found in front of X. So the slope here is seven. Now they want a point. So the point is always gonna be X comma Y. So the X value. So when you look here and you see X plus 13, what do I put in for the X value? You put in a negative 13. And what number do we now put in for the Y value? When you look at this, that says Y minus four. So remember the formula is Y minus, and then what number do we put in there? We put in a four. So the ordered pair that this came from is negative 13 comma four. All right, let's try one more of these. Okay, what is the slope and what is the point? So what is the slope? Is it six? Is it negative six? Is it two thirds? Is it four? Is it negative four? Okay, those are your options that are gonna show up on an A, B, C, D kind of quiz. So what is the slope? The slope is two thirds. Now, in the ordered pair, what is the X value? In my ordered pair, what is the X value? Is it six, negative six, two thirds, four, or negative four? So in the ordered pair, what number would I write? And I would write a positive four. So now, what is the Y value? Is the Y value six, negative six, two thirds, four, or negative four? The Y value, we see a plus six. So remember in your ordered pair, you're going to write a negative six. All right, hope this helped with your review on X and Y intercepts, point, slope, and graphing.